Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you the new action scripts for this version 2 package. You can see them right here. And the cool thing about these action scripts is that you can take pretty much any layer. It could be a text layer, it could be a vector shape, like a custom shape, or it could be even something you draw with the paintbrush tool. So you can take that layer and you can turn it into 3D with just a few clicks using the action scripts. And let me just show you how that works and a few things that you have to do at the end to really polish up the final image okay so let's just type something in like like 3D okay so this is a text layer you can apply any font to this so it doesn't have to be this specific font any font that you have in your system you can use that okay so let's take this text, let's apply some kind of a layer style to it. Mm. Okay, let's just apply this one here. Okay, so we applied the layer style. Now when you're ready to make this uh, image 3D, you just go to the, one of the action scripts. These are the three different perspectives that you can choose from. Okay, so let's just try this one here. Press play and then just wait a minute while the action goes to work okay as you can see the action script is doing its magic so okay and it's done so this is the final 3D image that we have here as you can see there's a nice uh, shadow and a nice reflection okay the one final thing that you have to do to this to make it look really polished is uh, make the reflection blend in and for some of the actions you should also change the perspective on the reflection okay that's a simple little thing that you can do in just a few minutes and let me show you how to do that okay so we have the reflection here we move this over you can see that it just uh, it just goes solid down like this what you want to do is make it kind of blend in and you can do that by choosing the reflection layer go into this add layer mask click this here okay then go to the gradient tool click on that and simply Okay, click here, just below the the layer. Hold uh, hold the mouse when you click it. Hold Shift on the keyboard, and just drag it up, and then release. And this creates like a nice little soft effect that just blends into the background. You can do this a few times if you want. Okay, so just do it a few times to get the exact look you're going for. And this just adds a, a polish to the 3D image. Okay, so that's one example. Let's just use one of the different perspectives here, like this one. Press play again. We'll wait for the action to do its thing. And then I'll show you what you have to do for some of the other actions. Okay, it's done. So here we go. This is a different perspective that you can, as you can see here. And also, as you can see, the reflection is not lined up 100%. And you can fix that quickly by clicking on the reflection layer. Okay, then go to Edit, Transform, Skew. A box will appear on this layer, and you just uh, you just drag it over just like this. You click on the center box here, and you drag it up to line up with the with the main text layer. And when you're happy, just hit the Enter key on your keyboard. And once that's done, you can also apply the layer mask 
to this layer just like we did in the previous perspective. Okay, so apply the layer mask, creating a tool, just drag it. Okay, and there you go, you have a nice little reflection. You can also play around with the shadow layer if you want to make it a little darker or lighter. You can play around with the opacity of the shadow layer. Okay, so if it's a little too dark or if it's a little too light, you can also change the opacity here. So let's make it 50%. Okay, so there you go. That looks like a really nice 3D layer. And you can do this for any shape, again, any text. It could say anything you want. Pretty much take any layer that you already have, or even take like a more complicated template like this one here. And you can also run the same action script on, on these uh, templates. Okay, so there you have it. Enjoy the package, and just play around with it.